Hi, I'm Lisa from Bowtie.com, and I'm going to show you how to tie the colorful triangles bow tie. So I'm going to stand up my collar. I have uh, my first button and my second button. I've adjusted the length of the bow tie so that it starts to get wider when both of them are right around the second button. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was so low. So when it's right around the second button is when the the bow tie starts to turn into a bow tie and not just a band. Uh, I tell people two things when I'm teaching them to tie a bow tie. One is everything you know about tying a necktie has nothing to do with tying a bow tie. Tying a bow tie is exactly like tying your shoe. The difference is that when you make the loop of the shoelace, you just kind of fold it wherever and you make the, the, um, the loops for your shoelace that way. Here you have to fold it right at that widest spot. It's right here is where you're going to do the folding for the loop that's going to form the bow tie. So now that I have them at the right length, I'm going to make the left side a little bit longer. So the two things is think shoe not tie and fold at the wide spot. Those two, two little tips that'll help. So I'm going to eye tie left over right. So starting with the left, I'm going to go over the right. And then I'm tying straight across. Now I'm going to work with the, the end that was hanging down below. I'm going to fold it at the wide spot and have it lie down so that it's making, you can see the bow happening. There's a loop here and a tail, just a single layer here. But what I need is that piece to go across the center. That comes from this piece. That goes right over the middle. That forms the center of the bow. Now this loop is on this side. Now I need a loop to come out behind this tail. So the hardest thing to do is to find the path where that second loop is going to be formed and come out over here. And here's a cool little trick. If you take the loop and the tail and pinch them together in front and pull forward, that's the path where you're going to send the uh, other loop. So what I'm going to do is fold this other one into at the wide spot and tuck that fold through the hole. I think. <laughs> there it comes. And now to get it all squared away, I'm going to take each loop in, in a hand. So I have each loop I'm pulling and that makes it snug. And then you just kind of pull where there's some resistance to get it to snug down. And there's my tied bow tie. Then I put the collar down. And we get a pretty bow tie. I like to put my fingers in the loops just to puff it out a little bit. There's your finished bow tie. And when you're ready to take it off, just like you're untying your shoe, you just pull on the single tail, or you can pull on both tails at the same time. And now you're all done. That's it. You can do it. Bye.